We recently talked about a legendary sports car with the Nissan R chassis and the R33. And in that video, I hinted at some of the other amazing cars the Nissan has made over the years, specifically the Z car. The Z car is the car that arguably foot planted Nissan in the West in America. And the Z cars in general, specifically the 240Z and the 260Z, really shifted the way the sports cars were conceived and implemented for years to come. The Z car is arguably the most important line of cars the Nissan's ever made. And I'm sure a lot of you have heard that there's a new kid on the block, the new Z, some call it the 400Z, the 2023Z, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's here, it's available, people are getting their hands on them. And today we have two and I want to take a look and just see quickly what you know, all the hype is about and if it lives up to the name. And here they are, the new Z. You might have seen online, some people don't love the way these look, but personally, I think they knocked it out of the park. I was a little skeptical at the beginning too, but it really pays heritage to the Zs and Datsuns of the past. And it looks fantastic, especially in this blue and the black that we have here today. And despite the similarities to the old Z, they've done a really good job of sprucing up this interior. You can see they got the seats that are very stereotypically Nissan 370, 350Z, but for the infotainment and the other bits in the interior, it's a fresh look and it's functional and it's comfortable. And you know, it feels pretty sporty. And obviously the biggest difference with this new Z is that now we have forced induction. As much as people loved the VQs and naturally aspirated V6 of the past, we finally got a twin turbo system. And let me tell you, it pulls hard, it feels great. And I think it's about time that we got a car that from the factory is capable of making a lot of power. And there you have it. Just a quick look at the new Z. I didn't get quite as much time with this car as I would have liked, but in my honest opinion, it does everything it needs to and it does it pretty well. It feels like a Z, but it's faster than ever. It's comfortable and more refined than ever. But I think it looks great, despite the big grill that people complain about up front. Honestly, the only thing that I would change about it is maybe stiffen up the suspension a little bit. This is supposed to be a sports car and it's just a little bit soft, for my liking anyway, but that does make it comfortable. And honestly, we all know where these cars are gonna end up eventually. The aftermarket support is probably gonna be wild, just like all the Z's before it. And once you factor that in, there'll be plenty of stiff suspension for you. But if you wanna try and get yourself into a Z, the new one or any of the old ones before, you probably gotta get rid of your car first. So, Head on over to Carvindi and let us try to give you a competitive offer to buy your car and then you can get something like this. I'm T and this was a quick look at the Newsy. Peace.